Deportations of undocumented immigrants have increased this year, in some cases separating families. Some mothers risk dangerous illegal crossings to get back to their children left in the U.S. KPBS Fronteras reporter Roxandra Guidi went to a shelter in Tijuana and spoke to some recently deported mothers, and she joins me now with details. Roxandra, what were the circumstances surrounding the deportations of these women? Well, I actually met a number of different women, but in the story that I produced for KPBS, I focused on the case of two women that had been deported, one from the L.A. area, another one from the San Diego area, and were both staying at a shelter in Tijuana. Um, one of them had been trying to get a loan with fake uh, um, documents, and the other one was actually uh, charged with battery. She got into a fight with her husband, and she ended up getting charged. So that was the reason that they they were picked up and deported? They were both picked up. They went to the local jail, and once they ended up at the local jail, they checked their immigration status, and it turned out they both weren't here undocumented. Why didn't these women take their children with them? That's a very interesting story, and it's a story that I keep on hearing over and over again when I talk to mothers. Um, the conditions on, under which a lot of women and, and people in general deported are different from one person to the next, obviously. But generally, when you are arrested or pulled over by a police or you know, found to have fake documents, the process that each person goes is very different. Sometimes you get taken to a local jail, sometimes you go to a detention facility, sometimes you're asked for voluntary return, and that means that immediately you can be dropped off on the Mexico side of the border. So these women were really surprised, obviously, by the deportation orders, and both of them specifically had no time nor really the desire to bring their kids back to Mexico, as it turns out. That's interesting, but I'm wondering whether immigrations and customs of enforcement follows any kind of a, a process when they deport the parents of American-born children to try to keep them together. Sure, they, they have to, and they've told me that they take every measure to make sure the kids stay with, with an adult, preferably one of the two parents. Um, in the case of Veronica Vargas, one of the women I talked to, um, she had three U.S.-born kids that stayed at home. Two of them were over 18, and then ICE uh, presumably made the decision that these older siblings were uh, old enough to take care of the little one. But ICE uh, officials have told me that they always make sure that, that there are parents or there's some adult that can take care of the children back at home. Your report stated that deportations have increased this year. Why is that? We're looking at almost 400,000 deportations in 2010. Um, that's a record number for ICE. There's a number of reasons and speculation over why that number is so high. Uh, a recent investigation by the Washington Post and the Center for Investigative Reporting in, in Berkeley believes that they've found data that says that ICE has been trying to meet a quota and that also they've been beefing up some of those numbers with Border Patrol numbers. Um, so it's really hard to tell. All we know is that the, the deportations are way up. Uh, do these deportations impact the number of people crossing illegally back and forth? You know, I, I would love to, to find a real answer for that. It's hard to tell. Um, a lot of the folks I talked to that have been deported seem to find no deterrent in a previous deportation. They keep on coming back. So, so what's going to happen to the, the women you spoke to? You know, I, uh, one of, uh, two of the women I spoke to are still in Tijuana. I've kept in touch with them. One of the other ones, I was preparing to do a follow-up interview with her recently, and I found out she was already on the side of the border. In a matter of three weeks, she tried four times to return to the States, and she, she managed to do so to be back with her kids. So I think that, the, I guess, the bottom line as far as the story of, of deported mothers go is that more likely than not, they're going to want to return to the States to be with their kids rather than bring their kids to Mexico. Thank you very much, Alexandra. Thanks, Gloria.